Hey everyone, Matt Wolf here. I want to make a real quick video to show you one of the coolest tools on the internet for automation and uh, just making things simpler and making you more productive. It's called If This Then That or IFTTT. So you can find it at IFTTT.com. And I use this tool like crazy for my blog, for social media, for uh, wanting to remember posts, for saving images, for syncing stuff to Dropbox. I use it for so much stuff. Um, I'm going to show you real quickly how you can use it to get more traffic to your blog um, and to do some, some other really cool stuff with it. So it's IFTTT.com. And once you log in, you'll have a, a dashboard that looks like this. Um, there's going to be some recommended recipes that you can use, and I'll explain the recipes in a second. Or you have your recipes. These are the ones that I've created here. Basically, what it does is literally, if an action happens on one site, then this site will make an action happen on another site. So, for example, my very first one that I created, if Instagram, then Dropbox. So every time I take a picture with Instagram and save it to my Instagram account, that picture automatically goes to my Dropbox account as well and saves it on my hard drive. Uh, same with Foursquare. If I take a, a photo with Foursquare, it saves it to my Dropbox. Every time I do a Foursquare check-in, it saves my check-ins to Evernote. Every time I do an Instagram photo, it saves that photo on LinkedIn. It shares it on LinkedIn. Uh, Flickr to my Dropbox. If I save a photo to Flickr, it saves it to my Dropbox account. Um, if I save a photo to Flickr, it saves it to Tumblr, Foursquare to Tumblr, Instagram to Tumblr. Um, if I post something on mattwolf.net, it posts it to Twitter, it posts it to Tumblr, it buffers it to Facebook. Same with learntoblog.com, buffers to Facebook. So it's a really, really cool tool. So let me show you how it works real quick. If I come up here to create, I can create a recipe. So first you do the if this portion of it. And let's say I make a new blog post on my WordPress blog. I can select WordPress here and it says choose a trigger. So anytime I make a new post, I want something else to happen. So let's create a trigger. So if something gets posted to my WordPress blog, then what's it gonna do? Well, maybe I want it to post to my Facebook page. What do I want it to do on Facebook? Create a status message, create a link post, or upload a photo album. Well, I want it to create a link post linking back to my blog post. Create a link post, link um, URL. This is the post URL. If you want to put a message with it, something like check out my newest blog post, and go ahead and create action. It's going to ask you to name the action. So post to Facebook with new blog posts and create the recipe. And that's all there is to it. Now, every time I make a post on my WordPress blog at mattwolf.net, it's going to automatically put a link on Facebook for me, linking over to that Facebook post. So that's pretty cool. There's a ton of other stuff you can do. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Let's, um, let's pull information from an RSS feed. So let's say there's a blog that has a RSS feed that I want to pull data from. So every time there's a new feed item on that RSS feed, let's just use mattwolf.net. My little feed URL is here. Copy the link from my feed here. Paste it into here. Create the trigger. Then what's it going to do? Every time there's a new blog post um, from that feed, let's say we want it to also post that to... Um, Tumblr. Let's share it on my Tumblr account. Let's create a new link post that links back to that post I just created. You could add the title of the post. It'll automatically pull the title, automatically pull the link, the description. Um, it looks like it's going to pull the title of the feed. You can select other ingredients here. So if we wanted to actually pull the entire post over, I can delete this and let's pull the entire post over to Tumblr. Uh, entry content. So now it's going to pull the entire blog post over and post that on Tumblr as well. And do we want it to publish now or add it to our Tumblr queue or save it as a draft or whatever? Let's just leave it at publish now, create the action, and we'll call it blog to Tumblr. That's simple. That recipe is now created. Now anytime I post something to this blog, it's going to automatically copy that blog post over to Tumblr. So you can use this to make blog posts go to Twitter. 
You can make blog posts go to Facebook. You can make blog posts go to all sorts of channels. If I click on here, the channels that I have available, I don't even have them all turned on yet. But you can have it sync stuff uh, to YouTube, to Tumblr, to Twitter, to a bunch of social media accounts I've never heard of, uh, to, to LinkedIn, um, Hootsuite, Instagram, Instapaper, Google Drive. <laughs> I mean, there's so much. You can make it send you an email every time there's a new blog post for, for somebody. Um, every time uh, somebody adds something to your Dropbox, you can have it send you an email. Um all sorts of different combinations. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And one thing that's really cool is you can browse through other people's recipes here. So you might find some uh, some really cool recipes that you didn't even think of. Uh, like if it's raining tomorrow, send me an email. It's going to check the weather in your email in your area and send you an email with a weather report. Um, if you label a Gmail email with Evernote it'll send it to Evernote. So you can, in Gmail, tag it with the Evernote and it'll automatically save that email into your Evernote account. Um, incoming recipients, you can add them to a spreadsheet in Google Drive. Uh, if you take a screenshot on your iPhone, it'll automatically save that screenshot into Evernote. Uh, if you like a track on SoundCloud, download that track to your Dropbox. That's pretty cool. Um, when you Instagram, have those Instagram pictures go to Twitter. Uh, so much stuff. Um, morning motivation. I'm not sure what that is. Apparently you get some sort of text message in the morning. Uh, if you have a Twitter favorite, it'll share it to Evernote. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. And these are, these are recipes that other people shared and made available that you can use if you want. So what I want to show you real quick is a neat little trick to use Evernote to get more traffic to your site, to get more people reading your blog posts. So let's go ahead and create another little thing real quick. Let's do if this, then that. And if I make a, uh, if there's a new um, post to my blog here, mattwolf.net, let me grab the RSS feed here, paste it in right here. So if there's a new pay post to this feed here, then we want it to send out an email. So send an email every time there's a new post. Uh, the subject will have the entry title, um, the body, the actual email will have the content and the title. Let's get rid of the feed title. Um, let's just have it show the URL so they can click back, create action. And now let's give it a name that, that entices people. So let's call it, um, free marketing tips to your inbox. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and create the recipe. So we've got a recipe now called free marketing tips to your inbox. So every time there's a post on mattwolf.net, it's going to send an email. Now what I can actually do is share this recipe, make it available in this browse section. So let's go ahead and click share free marketing tips to your inbox and go ahead and share this recipe. Now this recipe is shared. So when people come to browse, they can actually find that. So let's go to new, let's click on new. You see free marketing tips to your inbox. This is the one that I just created here. Now somebody can click on this, use this recipe themselves. And anytime I make a blog post, they're going to get that email about my latest blog post. So it's a cool little trick. You can also set it up. So every time there's a news uh, feed, it goes to their Facebook automatically. It goes to their Evernote automatically. Um, however you want to set it up, but you can set up recipes that pull information for your blog and it sends it to whatever, uh, property they want it to have, whatever property they own. So it's a cool little trick to, to get people paying attention to your blog posts using, uh, if this, then that. So hopefully that was a cool little tip. Um, I love if this, then that I F T T T, uh, it's a really, really cool, uh, tool. To, to really automate stuff. And there's so many different ways you can use it. I'm just barely scratching the surface with all the different ways you can use it. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, check it out. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.